It's starting to look like the only way we're going to Canada this year is through the majesty of video. What's going on everybody? My name is Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy, and uh, yeah, unfortunately, Canada's not looking so hot uh, for us folks in the United States to get up there and fish this year. Still holding out some hope for possibly late summer or fall, but uh, the opener in June when we usually go up is it's just not looking so good. So what we're going to do is finish off a series I started a little while ago. I'll put the rest of the videos in the description down below, but this is a trip uh, when I first started filming seven years ago about. This is a trip from July of 2014. Uh, my dad and I went up to Eagle Lake just for five days and I had some of the best fishing I've ever had up there. We boated 20 muskies in those five days, all on uh, the Esox Assault Killer Corn, one of my favorite colors uh, of bucktail, and uh, it was it was just amazing. The first fish we caught on this day was, it wasn't a big muskie, but it's a, a really cool clip. I had completely forgotten about it until I started watching these clips to come back and try to re-edit these and, and look at them from a perspective I have now uh, after doing this for, for so long. Uh, I, I'd never done anything with any of these pieces of video because I just I wasn't proficient at editing I didn't really know what to do with it And I think that's a lot of the problem that people run into when they first buy a GoPro and they they're gonna start filming They don't realize how much time it takes to edit, but this is a really fun clip uh, A muskie comes in on a figure eight for dad, and he just absolutely sets the screws to it. It's pretty fun to watch I don't think that little guy knew what hit him. Uh, absolutely slammed into that little 35 incher and uh, uh, I think he jumped slash pulled him out of the water. This next one, uh, I catch on a figure eight. And that's another thing, folks. The, the fish we caught on figure eights, it was 75% of the fish. It was just unreal. Eagle Lake is usually a, a figure eight lake, but uh, maybe 50, 60%. This was just unreal how many of the fish were coming to the boat and hitting on the figure eight. So this is a little upper 30s that we catch uh, shortly after dad caught his 35.
guy. Yeah, just go ahead and check the picture while I measure him. Yep. There's that. Okay, uh, it, yeah, go ahead. Look alright? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it looks, it looks good. The last fish we have, it was particularly windy uh, when I caught this one, and this is where I want to talk about how important audio is. I'm going to let you watch the first little snippet of this, just so I can prove a point. If the entire clip had that wind noise, it would be almost unwatchable. And it, not because the video is bad, be, because it's so annoying to listen to that wind noise. And that's another thing people don't realize is how important audio is. So the rest of the clip you'll be watching, I actually use the camera that's on the gunnel. And it's not perfect, but it is a lot better than that camera that's way up on the post. You just get less wind noise, so that's a trick you can use. Uh, it's the reason I use a chesty all the time. The audio is really good. If you don't have that though, any camera that's low in the boat is going to have a lot less wind noise and going to sound a lot better.
So once again, a beautiful 44 inch Eagle Lake Muskie on a figure eight on the Killer Corn EA-10 bucktail that has been so productive for us, not only up in Canada on Eagle Lake, but that color is just amazing anywhere I go. Uh, it's one of my favorites to throw regardless of the size of bucktail. I hope you've enjoyed watching these old pieces of video that I have. Uh, it's, it's fun to go back and look at them. It's one of the reasons I tell people they really should get a GoPro for the boat. Even if you're not gonna make videos for uh, YouTube, that sort of thing, just to have them. Uh, I think it's a level up from just taking pictures. It's so cool to have all these pieces of video of my dad and I in Canada. I'll be able to look back on them forever. Uh, and it's, it's just really fun to have that stuff and be able to go back and watch it. I'll leave all the other videos from this old trip down in the description below. Please check them out. And that's it. I'm heading to Iowa um, very shortly here. So hopefully we'll have some Iowa musky videos. After that, Wisconsin, northern Wisconsin, and we'll see where else this year takes us. Uh, thank you, everyone, so much for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you. I'll see you in the next video.